All right, what's going on, y'all? So, Master Teacher of Attraction, and in this, in this video, um, I just wanted to let you, you know, give a, a world premiere, all right? Social media is fake, all right? And they need a real MF like me, all right? Because everybody on here is trying to sell you a perception and sell you a dream in themselves. When y'all come over here and y'all see me, the reason why people mess with me or pe why people hate me and got to unsubscribe is because I'm real. I separate the, the real people from the fake, all right? And fake don't like real, all right? It's always going to be a battle between the fake and the real, all right? That's why all them people had to subscribe all this, off, this, off this YouTube channel because they, they was hearing too many truths, all right? So also another thing with social media is Man, social media is just a whole bunch of illusions and numbers. Everybody is basing their life and their emotions and going into emotional turmoil over some views, over some likes, over some, uh, you know, and the perceptions people put out there on social media. All right. That's why you get all these women <laughs> that post all these, you know, provocative pictures all over Facebook, all up in their Instagram stories. And hoping that they, you know, that the algorithm puts it in front of some type of beta male that don't get no type of women or don't understand women. And they hoping and praying. Like, I had to, co I was coaching a couple females on how to market their, um, their OnlyFans, all right? And you would not believe how, you know, how much they needed that to work, okay? Because they just quit their job just out of nowhere because they, 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 they was messing up at work. Let's just be real. They was messing up at work and they quit their job and they said, you know what? I want to be on OnlyFans. All right. And then they started asking me how to market their OnlyFans. So I was telling them and they were so in, you know, in all like I got to do all that. Out. I really need this to work and everything. Are you sure they're going to do that? You you think they like my body and all that? Like I'm when I tell you guys women, you know, are anxious a lot they they have a lot of anxiety even if they look good all right so that's why when i tell you guys i'm telling you from experience all right but that's why these women like they they're giving you an illusion that they're super confident they know they look good and everything but again there's always a dude and there's always a person like me behind the scenes giving them game or it could be some some other man giving them game all right and then they go out and do it and then you think it's a woman that is um doing everything all right so that's one aspect of social media that is fake all right and then you got you know dudes and women out here you know it was one person that you know killed themselves because they didn't get enough likes it was on a, a youtuber that you know was just went off on an emotional tangent on the on a live video and then you know was just Oh, the algorithm don't like me and blah, 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 blah. YouTube blah, blah, blah. don't like me. My music is great. I don't understand. Blah, blah. Like, no, <laughs> like you don't need to be doing stuff. All this stuff is fake. All right. At the end of the day, most people do this stuff and they do it for free. Now, when it come down to using social media for business, that's different. You just come on, you put out your content in monetizable ways and then boom. You, you not, it's just a business transaction. And I, I need to make that video about, you know, keeping business and life and all that stuff simple and logical and not throwing your feelings into it, okay? Because at the end of the day, that's what matters. But people is emotionally connected to, to social media. And that's why you always see people talking about, oh, I need to take a break from social media. I don't need to take no break from social media. Why is that? That's because I don't take it seriously. I know people is lying. I know women, you know, put all these filters up to make themselves look better because I went on dates with people, you know, with women offline, um, online to offline, and they look totally different from their filters, okay? So I already know the game. You ain't finna, <laughs> you ain't finna hit me with the, with the okie doke, all right? So... If you guys feel like you need to take some time away from social media, that means you're too emotionally invested into it. 
you and I, I guarantee you you're not using your stuff for business because I never ran across somebody that had to take a break from social media that was using it for business all right you ain't never going to see me on a social media platform using it for emotional reasons okay that's what they want you to do use it for emotional reasons so they can get you to do things give them money uh give them attention so they can put some ads in front of you and all that all right so as long as you know that when you say that you need to take a break from it and you know don't don't base your life off of social media a lot of people base their life off the information that comes from social media all right you listen to everything ams says you listen to everything steph is cold says you listen to everything fitx phyllis say all right you listen to mj can't get right you listen to everything they say you take that as a you know and think all women is the same all men is the same when you can look at yourself and compare yourself to other men and realize y'all not cut from the same fabric it's levels to this all right but we already understand too that most men and women ain't about nothing all right and they always got to try and they know they not about nothing so they fix themselves up they get their nice little clothes that they know they got to take back to the store because they basically bought it and they're gonna you know get their refund back but they're gonna take a picture for it for the gram and then they're gonna put on facebook they're gonna say oh now this is high value like kevin samuels now that's high value all right with your high value ass ain't nothing high value about y'all giving a fake um perception with all these lights and cameras all these little you know club lights and everything in your video we know what you're doing we know what you're doing man so at the end of the day we on the rise exposing these lies so i'll holler at y'all later copy y'all shirt down in the description link below peace